everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Sprite Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And I wanted to show you how do you use the new Anna Griffin monograms that are part of her new series, three series of cartridges that she just released. They were part of a special Cricut Explore uh, Air bundle on HSN at launch uh, earlier in February. And the cartridges will be available uh, for individual purchase later in the year. Um, but there's some that are already come, the monograms already come grouped with the three initials, and people are having trouble figuring that out. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm in my Cricut Design Space account. I did insert a new image and, and create a new project. So now I'm going to do insert an image, and it'll take just a second. And then I'm going to go to cartridges. And then this is the list of all the cartridges in Design Space. And then what I want to do is I want to find the Anna ones. Now I know that these are called Anna's whatever. So I'm just going to type in the word Anna. And now these are the three new cartridges. So it's Anna's decorative monograms, Anna's flourish cards and embellishments, and Anna's garden cards and embellishments. All right. If you purchase the bundle uh, that was sep a separate bundle, you got a special code to be able to add those and I have a separate video on adding that code so that they show up in your account so look for that if you bought the Cricut Explore Air machine and then once you went through the registration process it automatically entitled you to these three cartridges and it's, they're already in your uh, cartridge list but if you purchase the individual bundle that was these three cartridges in a uh, wire, Cricut wireless adapter and some other materials, you will have to manually add those to your account and you can watch that video later about that. So, we want to talk about the Anna's decorative monogram. So, I want to go into that cartridge by clicking View All. And now, it's showing me all the beautiful monograms. See, there's individual letters and then there's these group letters. And then there's all of these, which I don't remember what Anna calls them, but they're like frames that you put your monograms inside of. So I'm going to do my initials. So I'm going to do the D. I want to use this framework. And then I need to scroll down and I need to find the K and the O. All right. So then I'm going to insert those images by clicking here on the bottom where it says insert images. And now it's brought all everything up for me. Okay, so I want to pull this off and I'm going to make it big enough that my monograms would fit in to it. Okay, that would look good. So I'm going to move this up here. Now, they're going to come in like this when you bring them onto your mat. Okay, how do you, this is the question everybody had. How do you get that so it says D O K, which would be my initials, instead of the double D, the double K, and the double O? Well, it's pretty simple. What you want to do is you're going to ungroup these letters. Okay? So I'm going to I'm going to left click on this, and in my layers panel, I'm going to go to ungroup. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Left click on that and do ungroup. Same thing on the O. I'm going to ungroup. Okay. Now all I need to do is pull off my your first initial goes here. Your middle the middle letter is actually your last name, so it goes here. So I pull that. Let me go back and show you guys. Okay. So those are the letters, right? It's these two outside ones are already the same proportion, but your center letter is larger. All right. So to put my first initial, I'm going to take whichever one of these groupings was my first name initial. So that would be this D. So I'm going to pull that one off. Now notice I pulled it because it is in the first position of those three monograms. Now. O'Neill is my last name, and when you do a monogram, your last name goes in the middle. So now I'm going to pull the middle of the monogram and add them to here. And then my middle name is K, 
And so I'm going to pull the last letter because it goes here. Okay. So now I have D O K and I can size this bigger if I want by just clicking on it if I really wanted to exaggerate it, which I tend to like to exaggerate my the that letter a little bit more. I can even make this smaller if I want to do that by just dragging it until I get it, you know, the way that look it looks good to my eye. Okay? Or you can leave them in the same way that Anna already had them set up. But that is how you would add your initials to your uh, image using these three grouped letters that you'll bring in. All right. I hope you found that helpful. That's what I wanted to show you guys how to do. And I will talk to you later. Um, if you're not a member of Let's Learn Cricket Explore Facebook group, please come join us where we're learning all about how to use our Cricut Explore in Design Space. And um, if you are looking for me, you can find me at scrapmequickdesigns.com. That's my blog. And, of course, you can always leave me a comment here on my YouTube video. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Thanks a lot for following me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.